Hey everyone, it's Amy Old Book New Look. Um, it's been a while. Uh, I want to apologize for this video. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've made a video and um, I'm, I didn't really plan this video out. I just kind of spur the moment decided that it has been way too long since I've made a video talking video not one of me just dance around my house like a crazy person um so I haven't really planned what I'm gonna say and it's been a while since I've made a video so I feel like there's a lot that has happened that I haven't talked about so I apologize in advance if this video is kind of all over the place um where to start where to start uh well today is Wednesday, August 1st, 2012. As you saw in my last video, I am officially over one year post-op. Um, feeling good with this part of my life. Uh, I am still bouncing between 165 and 170 pounds. Uh, bounces between that kind of on a daily basis. It goes up and down between those five pounds. Um, I had my one year post-op appointment with my surgeon's office last week um, and it went very well. They're very excited and proud and happy for me and really, really happy with my results. They said that um, I think my BMI is like a 27. When I started, it was like a 53, 54, I think. I have to look that up to be sure. Because um, now I'm doubting myself. I'm kind of wondering if it was 56. But anyway, it was over 50. So I'm, I'm really happy and proud of that. Uh, I've lost half my body weight. Um, and they said that I've exceeded all their expectations for me and that I should be really happy with where I am right now. And I am. Um, I, I talked to them a little bit that I do feel like it would be very beneficial for me to lose another 20 pounds. Um, at 165, that still puts me in an overweight BMI category. A 27 BMI is overweight. Um, I mean, personally, I feel good. I've, I'm happy where I am right now. I'm not unhappy with my weight or, or my body or anything right now. Um, I just feel that health-wise, it would be beneficial for me to take off another 20 pounds. I feel like um, in my journey as a runner, it would be beneficial for me to take off another 20 pounds. It would be healthy um, and good for my joints, um, you know. And as an athlete, I think it would help me to take off more weight um, to get faster. So I'm still sticking to that. I still think it's possible. I think it would be good for me. So. Um, I just need to get my butt in gear and do it. So, there's that. Um, you know, I've been kind of MIA, I know, over the past month, two months. Um, I, I had a lot of stuff going on. Just to summarize, um, my mom had a, a type of cancer. She's okay. She's going to be okay. She's fine. She's okay. She's good. Um, it was very treatable. About a month after that, my grandfather passed away. My, my grandfather got very sick very suddenly and passed away completely unexpected. Um, even though he is, he was older. Um, and certainly when you get to that age, it can't be completely unexpected, but he was in great health. He's always been in great health his whole life. And so for him to go so quickly, it, it just knocked us all off our rockers. So um, that was very difficult. Uh, 
so there's been a lot of downs, but there's been a lot of highs. There, there's been some great things going on as well. I um, was able to go out to California for my best friend's wedding. Um, her and I have been friends since elementary school. She's like a sister to me, so that was really, really special. And um, along with that came a lot of some, a lot of some, uh, some really, really great NSVs. Um, and I posted some pictures on my Facebook, but uh, for example, one of the biggest ones was that I was able to ride on an airplane completely comfortable uh, for the first time in a long, long time. I mean, to be able to sit in the seat and feel I had space on both sides of me and to be in the middle seat with two other people on either side of me and not feel like I was worried about being too close to them or, or smushing them or making them feel uncomfortable and I wasn't uncomfortable and I could even cross my legs on the plane. I had plenty of room in the small coach seating and um, I didn't need a seatbelt extender. Um, I could buckle my seatbelt and have plenty of extra strap. Um, it was just awesome. Uh, very, very exciting. And um, so I was the matron of honor for my, my best friend and I had talked about in previous videos that I had ordered my dress uh, in, I think, January. And at the time, I was a 16, size 16 at David's Bridal, and I had to order a size 10 hoping that I would be in the right ballpark because I knew I was going to be losing more weight. And it, as it turns out, I fit into that size 10 dress and didn't need any alterations at all. So um, that worked out perfectly. Um, and. I think I have a picture. I don't have any pictures of just me in the dress, unfortunately. Um, I, it, the whole week was kind of a whirlwind, and I it wasn't. I wasn't thinking about me so much. I was thinking about my best friend, and how exciting it was for her. So I didn't. I didn't think to get a whole bunch of pictures of me. Um, but uh, I think I have one picture I can show you. Um, so anyway. That was exciting and I felt beautiful. My best friend um, took us to get our hair done and our makeup done and uh, it was just it was just an amazing experience. So you know I had some really rough times, I had some really awesome times. Um, I did some cool things with my daughter and my, my husband and my family. Um, we went, we have a famous, pretty famous clam festival here in the town that I live in. Um, it's uh, a big deal in these parts, and um, <laughs> that sounds so hokey, <laughs> clam festival. Um, but they have you know like a carnival, and I did the five miler. Oh, and um, the week that my grandfather died, in between when he died and his funeral, right in the middle was the Fourth of July, and I had registered several months ago for the L.O. Bean 10K um, that morning and I had some big issues. I didn't know if I wanted to do it. I didn't feel like it was in my heart uh, to be able to do it because I was so upset and um, I ended up doing it and I have to tell you it was the most amazing running experience that I've had. Um, it was both the most emotional run and the the strongest run I've ever done. Um, it was an amazing experience. So um, running wise I did that and then at the Clam Festival I did a five miler. Um, they have a, a the Yarmouth Clam Festival five miler road race and um, for both races my times I think for the, the 10k uh, which is six, what, 6.2 miles, I think, um, or is it 6.4? Anyway, yeah, it should be 6.4 because a 5k is 3.2. Math. <laughs> um, for the 10k, I think my time was an hour, yeah, an hour and two minutes around there. 
Uh, for the five miler, it was like 52 minutes. So I'm averaging like 10 mile, um, 10 mile, 10 minute miles, uh, which I'm feeling really good about. I mean, I have not done a ton of uh, speed work. Really, I haven't done any speed work. Um, my training has pretty much been based on distance and and the amount of time I'm running as opposed to the speed that I'm running. Um, so uh, I feel really good about that. That's really, I feel like that's good. Um, especially when I think back to when I was trying so hard to get my mile under 12 minutes. And when I first was able to run without stopping to walk in between, when I was finally able to run a whole mile without stopping to rest and walk in between, I think I was between 13 and a half to 14 minutes for my mile. So I feel really good at that progress, uh, feel really good about that progress. Um, and so this leads me to another area that I wanted to talk about, and that is that I really have decided kind of in my heart, as corny as that sounds, that I want to become an athlete. And as I say that, I think to myself, what are you, crazy? You're 31 years old. You can't become an athlete. What are you talking about? Don't be silly. Okay, so these are the things going on in my head. Okay, and here's what I say back to myself. I have gone through such an amazing transformation in my eyes in the past year. And it's not about competition at all. It's all about progress for me. It's just really, really motivating to me. And I just feel so lucky to be able to do the things that I'm doing right now with my running and the Zumba and just everything, every day things that I took for granted um, that I will never take for granted again. Um, being able to bend over and tie my shoes with ease, being able to keep up with my daughter and playing, being able to sit in the car comfortably, um, being able to buckle my seatbelt comfortably, uh, being able to cross my legs, uh, being able to... I mean, everything I do is easier. And I do not take any of it for granted. And going hand in hand with that, I want to take as much advantage of this as possible. And I want to use my body as much as I possibly can. I want to use it to its fullest extent possible. So, and I don't even know what that is right now. But I can tell you one thing, I really think it's possible I have a few things in mind, okay? And I'm mostly talking about running. I just really love running. Whoa, where did that come from? I mean, I can remember thinking um, at the end of last year, the end of 2011, when I was making my goals video, my 2012 goals video, that I wasn't sure if I wanted to be a long distance runner because I wasn't sure if running was for me. Um, I wasn't in love with it at that point. It was still hard work. Um, sometime from then until, from that point to now, I have completely fallen in love with running. I love to run. Um, I just love the way it makes me feel. Uh, I love the things that I think about while I'm running. Um, I love how I think about myself and about other people and how it cha it somehow has the ability to change my outlook on things um, running does. So I love running <laughs> and um, I would love, I signed up for my first half marathon. It's uh, going to be at the end of September, the main half marathon. And um, so that's kind of my next big step. But I'm going, I plan on doing marathons next year. I really believe it's possible for me to qualify, to get a qualifying time for the Boston Marathon within the next five years. I'm hoping it'll be sooner than that, but I, I feel like five years is a reasonable amount of time to expect me to be able to do it 
I completely believe that I can do it. So um, in order to do that, I will need to get my pace down to a, under um, eight minutes a mile. Um, and, and if I consider that I haven't really done any speed work yet, um, I haven't done tempo, any tempo runs. Um, I haven't done any, I forget what it's called when you run re intervals, duh. Uh, when you run really hard for five minutes to get your, um, see, I don't know the technical terms for these. I've read about them, but I don't remember them, but there's, um, like metabolic, that's my fire page are going off. Um, Basically, you have to condition your body to and your lungs to get used to the, the heavier work. The um, So you do that by running really hard for five minutes and then running really easy for one minute and then running really hard for five minutes and running really easy for one minute. It's supposed to condition your body to get faster, um, to get used to the harder work. So anyway, there's those. I haven't done any hill sprints. I've read about doing them, but I haven't done any yet. Um, so there's a whole, I know there's a whole bunch of tools available to me to get my pace lower. Um, to get my times faster and to someday qualify for the Boston Marathon. So in order to qualify, I need to be able to run um, a, an official marathon at a qualifying time uh, before I can qualify to be in the Boston Marathon. So that's that. Oh my gosh, this video is going to be so long. Um, so anyway, that's kind of one of my big goals. Um, I just, I really believe that I can do it and I'm excited about it. Um, there's other things, uh, physically, physical goals that I have that I'm not going to talk about right now. I'll get into that another time. Um, I just want to give a couple shout outs because you guys, I mean, there are several people that have kept in touch with me on my Facebook. Um, you know, Jennifer, Jen, um... Anna, uh, there are so many people. <laughs> Sorry, my, I should have turned that down. My, the, if you hear that squawking, that's my fire pager. Um, and Janine, uh, I've been talking a lot with Janine, and I just want to say, hey, I love you. Um, I just think you're an awesome person, and I am. I feel really fortunate that we were able to meet through this uh, media medium and um, and thank you for staying in touch with me and talking with me and uh, I'm rooting you on girl I'm not gonna say what about but um anyway and Anna I really want to do a race with you uh, this is another thing that's been making my life so crazy is that my new job um, I really like my new job I am happy with my decision to take this job However, it is a little bit stressful right now. Not so much for me. It, it is stressful for me right now because my schedule has been flip-flopped so many times. Uh, I think like three times in the last month I've been switched from uh, days to nights uh, to overnights and back to days. And my days off have been switched on me last minute. So um, it's kind of a bummer because, uh, you know, I've I really had a lot of things on my mind that I wanted to do this summer. Now that I've lost the weight, I want to, you know, I wanted to go camping as much as I could this summer. I did get to go once for two days um, with my daughter and husband, but I really wanted to be camping like every week on the summer, but that's not, not going to happen. Um, you know, I haven't been to the beach yet this summer. Hello! That's partly because of the weather, but um, it's been raining so much here. And I really want to go to Six Flags. That's on my list now that I can actually fit on the rides. The last time I went to Six Flags, totally embarrassed, tried to get on a ride. Thing wouldn't latch. Totally embarrassed, had to get off before they could start the ride. But now I know I can fit in them, so I really want to go. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like a mile a minute here. <laughs> mile a minute. Um, so I really want to go to Six Flags. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to in a couple weeks. But I also really want to run a race with Miss Anna. So um, I got to get on that. I got to hook up with you, Anna, and figure out what races you're signed up for. I have no races on my schedule um, from now until the half marathon at the end of September. So I'd really like to get some more races in there. Um, so I'll be in touch. Anyway, 
I'm sorry guys, this is like the most spastic video ever, but I miss you guys. Thank you to everyone that's been keeping in contact with me. Um, it does not go unnoticed. I'm sorry that I've been so few and far between as far as responding. Um, but I do appreciate you all. And I hope you're having a good week. I'm going to have a good week. Yes, I am. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay? Take care.